Nguma Kubele Shiluba, an IT graduate from the Tswane University of Technology, currently working as a graphic designer and as an IT support technician at a retail company in Midrand. I am a woman who is principled, disciplined by the Word of God. I have created a principle in my life that I live by it since the day I have discovered it, which is see it but bring it out to your reality. By the grace of God, I am a multi-talented woman. <laughs> hey Royal Fam, welcome to my channel. Happy, happy Youth Day. I'm super excited for today's episode. Today's session is a takeover. The girls are taking over my channel today and I can't stop but be inspired because earlier we had one guest who was also empowering others. She's 15 years old. If you haven't checked it out, make sure you check it out. But of course, right about now, I'm sitting with the amazing Melusi. I'm sure you saw her introduction there. She's just an amazing soul and I love her to bits. Melusi, welcome to my channel. <laughs> thank you, thank you so much. I'm, I'm really excited to be here and I believe that this session will not be in vain. It's going to inspire and empower somebody out there. Thank you so much for having me here. I love it. I love it. I love it. Definitely. Definitely. It, it's all about empowerment because even the title itself, it's empowered youth. So we're really talking about empowered youth. And I think it's only fair we really for us to really speak about today as, you know, the whole global um, history day of June 16. So, Melusi, without trying to drift away from our conversation from today, what do you think about June 16? What does it mean to you? Okay, what I think about June 16, it's about uh, the youth that has fought for, for freedom in South Africa, which they were fighting so that white and black youth can have equal rights in the country and I think that might that that have succeeded mm -hmm. so far checking the, the the equal rights that we have in South Africa. I like that I like that and most definitely because I think that's what um the whole you know thing about June 16 is all about it's about having equal rights being one and not really looking at each other as white or black or you know colored or green yellow we should just be one and to understand that we deserve all this equal rights we deserve all the greatness in the world yes. what the world needs to bring for all of us we all deserve it and we shouldn't be you know triggered to go for what we want or we shouldn't even feel like there's someone who is responsible for our greatness and we, it shouldn't be like that i can't really say that a white person is responsible for me to really get to another level i'm responsible to get to another level the level of my skill the level of you know my capability should say to me that you are capable i mean i believe that i was born for a purpose and for the fact that we are born with a purpose it means that there is something greater within us yes. you know and you know talking about you you know, June 16, Malusi, I'm just wondering, how do you think, you know, the youth of today looks at June 16? Do you think it's affecting them in a positive way or just youth in general? What's your thoughts? I think it's, it's, it's affecting us in a, in a positive way, having to look back at the things that were happening, mm -hmm. that uh, people needed to, to study in Africans. And I think that have changed now. We are able to 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 study in our own languages. We are able to to do the things that we want. We're not forced to anything. We are able to choose our careers, what we want to do in life, how we want to be in life. I think it has affected us positively. So, mm, yeah. yeah, I like that. And you know the fact that we get to choose. And when I look at the youth of today. I think we are so like we are so diverse we are so talented like you have those that have a desire to be 
in acting and singing and yeah. whatnot and it's no longer that thing of your parents saying hey you need to be a doctor yeah, exactly. a policeman whatever exactly. you go after what you believe is good for you and i think that's the most beautiful thing about it is that you are not limited to just doing something because the world wants you to do it but you do it because you're passionate you love it it speaks to you it's what you love all right awesome now <laughs> <laughs> I want to share a little bit about you know my story as to how I met this beautiful you know lady next to me she's my baby like both of them <laughs> are my babies you might have heard me say Lolly's my baby she's also my baby and I believe that you know she saw something great in me and what I saw in her was just equal and I believe that there's just a higher power in this you know somehow God connected us because you know she is just amazing and she is rooted in what she believes in and I've always seen a little bit of myself in her and I just want to tell you about how we met so I think it was 2016 2016, 2016 I was invited at my former university um, Tuan University of Technology where I got to do my qualification and actually graduate from there and what happened was it was an ICT empowerment girls empowerment um, type of seminar program that we we're doing um, and I was speaking there and obviously I was sharing my journey as a graduate as a student actually and how I got to just be where I was and to get to the point of even graduating and I remember um, just after the session I went outside when I came to TUT and then I chose to do information and technology which is IT so there was a lot of fear in my mind according to what I've heard people saying in the in the campus that IT is difficult you cannot do IT you will fail until you get old so like there was so much fear in my mind and I didn't know what to do I had no no one to look up to as an example of this thing can be done so having to see her in that ICT youth uh, girls empowerment speaking about how she did IT and how she struggled and how she overcame those struggles were were like something that I needed the most so I decided to say no 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 I'm going to go for that specialization that I always wanted and I'm gonna go because I know that she's an example of this thing can be done and it can you'll be able to succeed regardless of whatever that you come across along the way so I decided to give it a try and say there's somebody who made it and she's here, I'm not seeing her on TV, she's here, I know it's possible, so I don't care who says what, I'm gonna do this. I'm going for it. Yes. Mm. So now you came to me, you spoke to me, and I remember, you know, I know you're a shy person, man, this is a little, it's, she's a bit shy, <laughs> gorgeous, she looks beautiful, I mean, I feel like the camera loves her, like, that's how beautiful she is, but she's a very shy person. But that day, something happened. Melusi, when she was speaking to me, she was even shaking. It, it was as if she was some kind, like somehow scared or something like that. I was and a celebrity. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she was seeing a celebrity. And that, to me, I don't know, it touched me in a different way. Because when she approached me, whatever that I was, I loved t taking pictures and everything. But I was okay to pause everything and just have a conversation with her. Obviously at the time we couldn't speak for a long time and everything. But we exchanged numbers and everything like that, right? Mm -hmm. We did, right? Yeah, I think we did all of that right about then. But now, I think that I saw something special in her and I saw a bit of myself in her. You know, um, that hungry child that wants to succeed and that hungry child that doesn't want to stop at nothing and if i can tell you a bit of about my story is that i i went through a couple of trials where i started from one university and went to another but the drive that i've always heard in terms of wanting to succeed has always been there and as much as i dropped out from one university that did not stop me from really pushing the drive that i had and I was obviously challenged at the time, but when I now went to TUT and started again and really left the 
the, 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 the thing of feeling like, oh my word, I am studying all over again. Other students were able to, to you know, pass their third year or they are about to graduate. I didn't really care at the time. I needed to start all, all over because there was hunger and drive inside of me. So I saw that in her. I saw that in her. And I wish for you to, because I, I mean, this is my channel. I talk about my story every time, but I'm going to touch a bit about, you know, my journey because and something that we have in common because i think we have so much in common that's why i love her so much and then i got to to somehow mentor her and i think i want her to talk a little bit about you know um that part of us being in the process of her journey in her career and you know just a little bit about that and also i want you to share about your journey being a student um from where you started you know how how was it for you because there's a, a, a young girl right there who feels like you know what i'm failing at school or things are just not going great for me or does not believe that i can achieve something okay too many questions i know but yeah. you heard what i said <laughs> one by one <laughs> okay. Okay. okay i'm gonna start with uh, the first one so okay, let me continue from that day. So after when I met her yeah. at TET Girls Empowerment, so I I used to go on her page every day at night before I could study, take some quotes because she always she used to post quotes there. I mean uh, quotes I should do on that her real talk with Tabby page. <laughs> and then I went there. I wrote. I think even my roommate Penyo remembers this. I used to to post them on my wall. Those everything. That she used to write on a page and that was what kept me like going she oh god <laughs> so i used to do that take everything that she writes even on my page i used to share them one by one one by one there's no substitute for hard work sooner or later you get what you deserve i know what hard work can do all these things I, i've posted them on my wall and they were like they were keeping me going when it comes to studying and thriving to what i want to become the second one. <laughs> <laughs> what the second one? Wow, wow, I love that and thank you so much. I appreciate that. And if if there's something again in common is that I really got to inspire myself through motivational quotes. I remember I used to go to Google and just Google quotes and just read them as if I'm reading a book. I would actually do that. So for her to to have done that, it it, it means something to me and I can really attest to the fact that it has really had an impact so thank you for that so the second question I even forgot what I was asking <laughs> all right so I think um, the second question or just share with us your journey um, as a student as especially in IT not necessarily being specific but you as a student being in a university can be can be filled with so many challenges you know there's vb there's this subject called vb <laughs> people are scared of it you know like you have people that are negative at school you have people that will make you feel like no you can't really achieve this you will not graduate or something like that so i'm just wondering how was your journey um by the way um well i'll tell you this after she answers actually so yeah tell us your journey no, I did you want to say <laughs> Okay, uh, I, I started attending a TET 2016 where I did my first year in, it was, we, 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 we started specializing in, in second year. So on my first year, that's when I met her. So what I've already told you about that. So the journey, even after meeting her, it was not easy. It was, it was not easy, but I've seen also I've seen her picking me up by motivating me, inspiring me to towards the goal. Okay, the 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 journey as an uh, a student, as a tertiary student, was not easy. It was so hard to a point I could even call her, explain to her how difficult TPG TPG was. And she could tell me that it's never gonna be easy. Yeah, I remember very well. This was a word it's not meant to be easy so but having her on my side was 
uh, she was my power rate, <laughs> <laughs> my energy boost. She has helped me throughout the journey, having to deal with all these peer pressures, having to uh, to know who you are, not having to settle for anything less than you deserve. This is the quote that I wrote. <laughs> Don't settle for anything less than you deserve. Yes. Yo, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. <laughs> um, I remember those very well. And honestly, every word that I was saying to you, Melusi, was not something that comes from nowhere. I had my struggles as well. And I knew that um, I had to keep instilling positivity in myself and i was really happy to to really play that role because the fact that i have seen what hard work can do and i know what moi can do is because i'm an example of that i saw things being hard in my life and me being able to to really cry and you know complain and at the same time i would wipe those tears and start over again mm -hmm. and do it and i was able to get where i need to go so that is one powerful thing that you know has has got me to where i am now all right so you know melissa something about you know this journey of being a student and as a young person um there's so much that we go through there's so much that we go through. I mean, I for one went through a lot, and and I believe that I'm 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 sharing this as a testimony because no matter what I've been through, God never left my side. And I can share a little bit of the fact that when I left the previous university that I was in, I went to obviously TUT, which is the same university that you, we we went to. And when I got there, I got rejected. I applied and I got rejected. And me being rejected, I stood there and said to myself that I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to leave here without getting what I'm here for. Because I believed, I believed so much that God is by my side. And I believe that whatever that is happening, it's not meant to happen. That is not what's supposed to happen. What's meant to happen is for me to be enrolled here because with everything that I've been through, I know that God did not let me go through that to leave me. And to the, the really power, or should I say the amazing thing about all of this is the greatness of God that came out of it. Yes. And this is how God came through for me and really showed me that, you know what, I am by your side all the time. I was able to be credited almost all my subjects. As a matter of fact, I was supposed to go to straight to second year, but because there were two subjects that I didn't have on, on, on my, my transcript, I had to repeat those ones. I mean, do the, not repeat, but do them so that I can move. But now, this shows the greatness of God. Yeah. And I'm, I'm, I'm thinking now, what, what, what is that thing that God has done in your life that has really showed that, you know what, no matter what happens in life, God will be by my side? Yeah, <laughs> when it comes to God, I have so much, I have so much to share. Like, I have seen His faithfulness. Even the Bible says, great is His faithfulness. I've seen God being faithful in my life from since I was born up until here. I've seen his faithfulness. Let me just uh, testify about the goodness of the Lord. Yes. Uh, I believe that's fine. It's, We're it's not fine. turning it into a service, but I just want to share how God can carry somebody's hand through it all. When I remember... I was doing grade 12, let me just start there, I'll go to Vasit and I'll go to where I am now. Mm -hmm. When I was doing grade 12, we were, we were writing a subject that I happened to sleep in during the exam. Me sleeping during the exam, I was only woken up just by, uh, by the invigilator when everyone was submitting the papers. I was so stressed, so scared that I didn't know what could happen. And let me just, sorry about that, Let's, let, let me just take you a bit back after when I received God and started to be serious about God. 
This is what God said to me. He said, uh, serve me and I'll be faithful to you. I've seen his faithfulness after that day when I decided to, 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 to forget about um, friendships that were not glorifying God. I'm not trying to judge or anything. But I decided to take a step in serving God all my life. Like all my life was based in church. At my family by that time, I was the only one who was born again. My life was in church. So back to back to, to the agriculture exam. While I was writing that exam, I happened to sleep and I didn't write anything. The whole paper I submitted with 1.1, 1.2, 1.3 that was empty. I went back home and I told them what happened and that day I knew I filled agriculture but when results came back around January the metric results I saw that agriculture was the second highest of, of, of the subject that I've done it was 68 which I didn't understand what happened I didn't know what happened but after that day I saw that indeed God you can carry somebody's hand Indeed, you are God and you are God all by yourself. He is a God of miracles. It's How unbelievable, I know. Came, you know what? It's a miracle. I couldn't believe. I, I remember even my sisters, if you're watching, you remember that day when I saw, like they sent the results via phone. I saw them, I was like, I'm, 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 I want to see agriculture. I want to see that 15 in agriculture. <laughs> yeah. I want to see. And then when I saw it, it was 68 hours like what <laughs> I called my sisters and I showed them this is what I got remember what I told you they were like this is impossible it's not here yeah. but with man it is impossible but with God it's it possible, is possible. Ooh, when we that. go when we go to to us okay I, I passed my metric with a very strong bachelor we went to to university and then I was admitted to study IT I started studying IT, I started specializing. On my specializations, I was doing uh, mathematics, programming, and other electronic subjects that I cannot mention, but I want to focus on these two subjects that has been uh, challenging for me, mm -hmm. which was maths and technical programming. Hey, maths. Maths. Hey, maths. <laughs> I had challenges with maths as well. <laughs> yeah, so I had challenges with maths. I, I struggled with, not that I, I, I at first I passed maths, but what was, uh, what was so challenging to me, I think it was the second one. So I decided one, in one of the semesters that, okay, I'm leaving everything else. I'm leaving electronics. I'm leaving other subjects. I want to, to, to remain with this ones which was TPG and mathematics. I decided to remain with them. The other ones, I passed them. So I wanted to focus on those two so that I can be able to pass them without any disturbance of other subjects, of other practicals. Because in my course had too much practicals. We, we, we did a lot of circuits, going to labs, designing a lot of things. Mm. So I needed to have men's and TPG only. So I thought I'm going to nail this because there are only two. Yeah. So I took them, <laughs> I took them, I qualified to write an exam and then I don't know what happened with TPG, I passed men's, I don't know, I actually remember what happened, <laughs> I remember what happened. Yeah. Okay, with men, the, there's TPG, I was so scared that they were supposed to write TPG, this I, I now remember, I was so scared that I decided to say, I'm not going to write TPG, I'm going to go to a hospital and get a sick test so that mm. I can get enough time to prepare. Oh, yeah. So I didn't go to the doctor, I asked one of my friends to give me a sick test because his sister was a doctor. Mm. So that person gave me a sick test without checking it, that sick test, it did a not have a, a signature. A a a I submitted the sick test at the department. And then I was I was already preparing better with other ladies because we told ourselves that no we're not gonna write this we're not ready let's let's write it using a sick test. Mm. So I was busy waiting for the department to get back to me. They've already got back to my friends that are writing on this day. 
Then when I went to the department, what happened because I don't see my timetable, they were like, your sick note doesn't have a signature. Ah. So it's faked, you failed the subject, you won't be able to write the exam. Yo, that day, <laughs> after when I've prepared so much to write the exam, but a, a mere paper of signal without a signature made me not to write the exam. So which made me to fail <laughs> that subject. The Never get sick notes. <laughs> it's not saying that. <laughs> You'd rather go to the doctor if you yeah to get a valid one. Yeah. So <laughs> So then I felt that TPG, I was so heartbroken. I was so heartbroken because I prepared. Mm -hmm. I prepared, like I prepared with everything that I had, knowing, okay, I've, I've received enough time. I'm going to pass this. I'm going to make sure I pass this and just forget. It was the last TPG. Mm -hmm. Forget about this TPG and focus on other, on my electronics and my logic designs yeah. subjects. So I failed it. Failing it resulted in me losing Nesfas. I was using Nesfas. I lost. I lost Nesfas. I was kicked out of res. I went to stay off campus. Uh, by the grace of God, I, I I happened to appeal and got back Nesfas the same year, so it was able to pay for 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 my for my subjects. I was able to pay for my fees for that year and also the following year. So after that I passed, I I I I, I did again that TPG and I passed it. And then this is what shocked me. Okay. <laughs> Guys I was passing the uh, the other subjects when I don't know what happened. Huh. It was this two it was a uh, men's and TPG which was so ch I'm sure somebody out there can can really testify of of how TPG is. I can <laughs> technical pro programming. <laughs> like from I hated programming from that day and say I'm not gonna work as a programmer ever in my life. It's a lot. It's a lot. <laughs> but I thank God even like I'm, um, I, I. But don't hate it if you love it, eh? Yeah, please don't. Yeah. Um, I think now I'm, I'm, I'm starting to love it because I do design a website by pro, by programming. I code it, so it's. It's fun now. It's, it's, it's Yeah, I do. Something That's about cool. programming, and especially from someone who got to do it, is that, you know, as you when you start it, it looks like it's hard, it's difficult, but the more you keep, you know, doing it. Or even after you have even graduated, that's when you realize that actually it's not actually that bad because whatever that you do, yeah, you are like, bad. I know. <laughs> but whatever you do, programming follows you. It follows you. Exactly. You does. can't you can't design a website and just depend on just using anything on the interface. You'll have to code one way or the other. So anyway, continue. <laughs> yeah, so Guys, <laughs> real fam. Okay, along that journey, after having to to face all these things, I I sat down one day before we go to the other phase of of this. Mm. I sat down one day and I said, "You brought me this far, not to leave me." Yes. But I'm sure that you're gonna see me through. I believe and I trust. I'm somebody who believes in God with all my life. Like, I'm so dependent on the provision of God. Yes. So, I sit down and I say, I will become the person that I'm supposed to become. This is just to help me get there with a lesson. Knowing that if ever somebody encounters such a problem in future, I know exactly how that is. Mm -hmm. So I believe that everything happens for a reason and for a purpose. That is why I'm not gonna say that because I did get to a point where I, I'm, I'm going back home. I cannot do, I think I need to register language practice. <laughs> I need to register public management because this is not for me. It's a lot. <laughs> but I realized that 
giving up is not an option. Senga balango si ogu she ungenzele gona. Okay. Ah no, continue.